there, how you doing? It's been a bit. So today I am bringing you part two of my little mini series on my Mellow cosplay. This video is going to go over all the components of this cosplay, where I got it from, what I made, what I didn't make, and yeah, I'm just gonna talk about it, probably mention certain little adjustments I want to make in the future because this is the first time I have cosplayed him in a very, very, very long time. Things are bound to change. So if that sounds like something you're into, keep on watching. Not me trying to film stuff between when the people are doing yard work. I'm so excited for this. I'm not gonna let this ruin my mood. Okay, this is a very interesting angle. I thankfully set up this backdrop so it doesn't look as nasty with just my closet. It's not ideal, but we're working with it. First things first, this wig was actually for Armin from Attack on Titan. I purchased this a long time ago actually from a cosplay store. There are a few things that I'll probably do with this wig. I just kind of threw it on today and it works, but I know for Burn Scarmello, his hair is a little different. Oh no, no, please, please, continue. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so they're still out there, but the big machine has turned off, so I'm going to continue even though I can hear them. Where was I? Okay, started with the wig. I have a little note here, so. The rosary was actually from Etsy. It's gorgeous and really nice quality. I love this song. have returned. It's been about an hour. I have filmed a few TikToks and taken a few selfies. I have eaten. Um, I haven't rested yet because it's kind of hard to rest in this entire thing. So we're gonna try this again. <laughs> I believe I just got through the wig and the rosary before we were so rudely interrupted. So yes, wig from a local cosplay store, rosary from Etsy. Now, <laughs> the rest actually, aside from the pants, is from Amazon. So this vest was initially unfitted. It was one or two sizes too big. And as you can see, I have tailored it. I have a love-hate relationship with sewing but it was fun this time. At first came down to here, so I hemmed it. And then I actually found out how to shorten zippers, which sounds crazy, but it's true. I will link the video below that I actually used as reference. This little ring was actually something I added to the zipper. It's actually a keychain ring. So I just popped that on after taking off the old little zipper pull. I took in the sides a bit. There's this like stretchy panel here. So all I did was cut and I pulled it in about an inch or two. And we have a pretty canon vest if I do say so myself. And we got to preserve part of the zipper. So pretty cool. I will show pictures of what my old vest looked like. This was just a vest from Value Village. It worked, it served its purpose for the level of cosplay I was at. However, uh, I like to think we had a pretty significant glow up here. The gloves were also from Amazon. 
I'm really happy that I managed to find gloves that just came down to the wrist. I did also take these in. They were a bit big. So you can see in here, I kind of just sewed it. They're actually fur lined, which is pretty cool. They have this like factory smell, which kind of sucks, but you know, they look good. So <laughs> I think that's all that matters. Another thing I'm excited for is the belt. So I did unfortunately have to destroy my favorite belt. <laughs> I have been using this belt for years for cosplay and out of cosplay, but this was perfect for what I needed it for. And unfortunately, if I were to keep the belt as it was, you would be able to tell that it wasn't made out of the same material as the actual belt. So I did end up taking <laughs> the belt buckle sort of part off and replaced it with this. We also have this other buckle here for whatever reason. And this chain, this chain was just from uh, Spencer's a long time ago. Totally unrelated to cosplay. I am just edgy. These are my Klaus Hargreaves pants. So you can see there is actually some lacing down the sides. So <laughs> I'm actually wearing two pairs of pants right now. I am wearing a pair of leggings underneath these leather pants. I could have just bought an actual pair of pants. However, I really wanted the lace crotch and I already had a pair of pants that looked relatively similar, same sort of material, and they had the lace crotch. <laughs> and it is significantly harder to find that style of crotch than you'd think. I figured it would be better to just use what I had instead of paying any unnecessary expense, especially when I was already doing so much with the costume and I am really not mad at it. Both pairs of pants are actually pretty light. So it's not too bad, I'm just hot because I have been moving around and in this costume forever because of our lovely video guests. <laughs> so the final part of the costume is the boots. I will be inserting a video of the boots. I'm not gonna try to contort my body in order to show you the boots. However, these boots double as my regular boots. I haven't had a new pair of boots for years. So when I won my prize money, I decided I would buy myself a pair of red boots and I would use them for my mellow cosplay. So that's where we're at. I really love these boots. They're beautiful. They were very reasonably priced and they work perfectly for the cosplay. That's it for the costume itself, but what about the props? So you saw me, um, I started eating my chocolate. I typically prefer Hershey bars <laughs> when it comes to my Mellow cosplay, just because they have the, uh, the silver and the size is pretty good. Um, I am literally giving a review on a chocolate bar. <laughs> and the best thing that you can do if you're a Mellow cosplayer is you put your chocolate in the fridge and you leave it there until you're ready to use it because it makes that beautiful click. This is one of two guns that I have. This was actually one that I used for my Daryl Dixon cosplay and it was just a Nerf gun that was painted and given to me as a little gift. So yeah, pretty cool. You can tell that it's supposed to be a Daryl Dixon prop and my final prop is of course the death note itself so i have one big one and one little one now <laughs> this big one i believe i got this either from that same cosplay store or from a convention one or the other this one was actually from a convention and it makes me chuckle every single time i look at it because it's 100 percent cosplay you know, you're gonna need yourself some death notes. And I got options. <laughs> oh my God, this is a train wreck. I'm actually really glad that I managed to get through this because uh, not gonna lie, I was fading fast and they literally went on for an hour. So I apologize if my energy was a bit off in this video. We are going through it right now. I just managed to film like four 
plus videos in the span of a couple hours. So yeah, if you liked this video and would like to stick around for the rest of the series, please consider subscribing and give the video a like. Comment down below, let me know if you are into Death Note or um, if you like chocolate. I will have the playlist available for viewing at the end of the video if you are interested in seeing where the series is at or if the series is complete. There you go, you can watch the whole thing right now. With that all said, I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you in the next video.